this quick tip, we'll look at another unique feature of the Envolution plugin, and that's the ability to use it like a gate. We'll use it almost like sound design on a film score type of cue on a signature track with a metal sound. You can see in the display window the waveform of the metallic hit. By pulling the sustain back, we can alter the length of the waveform just like a gate. I often use this feature on things like kick drums as well. And we're also going to play with the hold and attack features. So let's solo this track up and have a listen to it. I can increase the hold time. Now you see in purple the hold time of the sample is longer and now shorter. It's a very visual way to work. Let's push up the attack and hold one more time. And then we'll go back to the factory default and listen to the original, see where we started. Now let's shorten that sustain. Now we have a nice, short, clean sample. We can also do some spectral shaping by selecting frequency and choosing focus or tilt. This allows you to do a little tone shaping within the plugin. By selecting diff, we can listen to just the process signal or difference. We can get narrow or wider in the width. Keep sweeping. I use it to find unique tonal qualities within a sample. But let's just go back to our gate feature. And I'll reset this so it's really not affecting the sound. Now what I'm going to do is automate the plugin to have some shorter sustains followed by a few longer ones within the context of the song. What I'll do is gate the sample off for a few hits and increase the sustain for an effect. Now we have a short gate. Now you can hear we went to a long sustain. You can see the purple line changes too. Once again, it's very visual. You can see the sustain increase in purple. So let's play that back and solo the track. We'll put it back into read mode and see what we just did. Here's the short gate features. I'm using sound design like a musical tool here. And once again, the short gates, followed by the longer increased sustain. And here it is in the track. So you can hear how we used Envolution like a sound design tool, which is just one of its many uses.